Hi, this is Liz here and I'm going to talk today about content aware sidebars and how to manipulate your sidebar using WordPress so that you have the sidebar you want on each part of your site. Sometimes you're just not going to want to see the same sidebar. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. I'm just going to use my personal blog, um, such as it is, um, and that's at elizabethjameson.com. And basically, if I go to one of my posts, which is here, for example, if I scroll down, you'll see that I've got a sidebar here with stuff in it. And wherever you go in my site, that's what the sidebar will look like. And that's dictated to by the widgets in this primary sidebar area. So I've dragged certain widgets into the primary sidebar and that's resulted in my sidebar looking like this. But supposing for one particular page on my site I didn't want this sidebar, I wanted a slightly different sidebar. Let's say I wanted to put a tiny little slider in here just above the affiliate disclaimer but I only wanted that tiny little slider to appear on one page and for the purposes of this demo I've made another page called another page and I'm going to pretend I only want the slider to appear here on this page but on every other page the sidebar will be exactly the same. Well that's really easy to do, you just need to install a widget control plugin. Now I always use widget logic, I like it a lot, it's very simple. So if I just go to this post and I just go up to the top where it says edit and I hover over edit, I can see if you look down at the bottom that this is post 375. Fine, great. If I go to another page, the one that I want my little slider to appear in on the sidebar, and I do the same thing and I hover over the edit, we can see that this is post 396. So every page or post always has a post ID and you can find out what it is by hovering over the edit link. So 396 is the one I want. So all I have to do is go into my dashboard and go to my primary sidebar and in my case I'm just going to drag up a Genesis Club slider and just put it in like that and I've pre-prepared a tiny little slider called short slider and it was page 396 that I wanted this slider to appear in only on the primary sidebar so I simply go is page 396 and then I hit save now that means that little slider should appear only on that page so if I go to another page which is page 396 and hit return I get my little slider. That's how I would control that small change to a sidebar. In other words I mostly want the same thing I just wanted to add that one little thing in just for this page and if I go to another post that isn't post 396 then there is no slider. That's easy enough to do and the rules for putting and controlling widget logic, all of these, can be found on the WordPress site and I'll show you a link in the post beneath this if you want to know how to identify pages and posts or categories, tags, whatever you want to identify with widget logic, it's perfectly possible and there's a page in the codex of WordPress that will show you how to do that. But supposing I don't want to do a small change like that, supposing what I actually want for this, for this actual page is to get rid of this sidebar altogether. And instead of having the sidebar at all, I want to just have a different slider in this sidebar. Now I'm using sliders, you could have whatever you want. I'm just saying, supposing I didn't want this sidebar at all, I just wanted something completely different, then how would I do that? Well there's a plugin, it's a free plugin called Content Aware Sidebars, it's very good, but I think the interface to it, the user interface, isn't that obvious, so I'm just going to show you how I would do that. So I go into my, into my dashboard and the first thing I'll do is I may as well just get rid of what I did earlier we don't want that at all anymore and I go into sidebars which is what you get if you install the content aware sidebars plugin and I'd simply say add new 
Okay, when you first go into it, this is what it looks like, and it's not obvious what you need to do. So I'm just going to give my new sidebar a title. So I'm going to call it slider only because it's only going to have a slider in it. You can just look at these down here and say, now which post or page or, or condition do I want for this new primary sidebar to appear in? Now I've chosen it to appear only on a page, so I'd open up pages and I want it to only appear, let's say, on Content Aware Sidebars Demo, which is one of my pages. So I'd check that box like that. Now you see that when I check the box, nothing happens. This Add to Group button doesn't light up, so it looks like, you know, what's going on here. We'll just check that box and then go over here and say Add New Group. As soon as you've added the new group, that button becomes alive and then you can click it to add content aware sidebars into the condition group. Once it's done that, all you have to do then is say, okay, for this particular page, do I want the new sidebar to appear when the page is in its singular format or in some sort of archive capacity? And for us, because it's a page, I will just leave it at singular and archive. You could just put singular actually if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave it at singular and archive. And then I want to either replace the primary sidebar, you've got a choice of all the different widget areas, but I want to replace the primary sidebar. I could merge it with the primary sidebar, but I didn't want to do that. I just want to replace it. And because I'm replacing it, then there is no need for this merge position. That's irrelevant. It doesn't matter whether it says top or bottom. So I'm replacing the primary sidebar when I'm in Content Aware Sidebars Demo page. That's it. Then I hit Save. All right. When it says Condition Group is saved, I can then publish that. Now when that's done, I can click on all sidebars and see I've got a sidebar now called slider only. Now I can go into appearance widgets and it's got a colour on it to help you see it. But I've got a brand new widget area now that wasn't there before. And that widget area knows to only appear when I'm looking at the page called Content Aware Sidebars Demo. So all I need to do is open it up and drag in a widget. I'm going to go for my fixed slider again, only this time I'm going to put the slightly bigger slider in. I'm not going to use short slider, I'm going to use tall slider. And I don't need to fill in any widget logic stuff because it's already encapsulated in the meaning of this that it will replace, see it says there, the primary sidebar when we are on that page and only when we're on that page. So if I hit save and if I go back now to one of the other pages on the site and do a refresh we should see this same sidebar, the same old sidebar that we always had. And in fact if we go to one of the other categories like WordPress it doesn't matter where I go we've got the same old sidebar. But if I go to Content Aware Sidebars Demo, which is the other page I created, we should see that this has got a completely different sidebar in it. In fact, it only contains my tall slider that I created earlier. And if you look, you'll see there's nothing beneath it because that's all I've put in that sidebar. So very easy to do.